Hello Stampers! Today I'm going to show you how to make this um, little bag out of an envelope. I used our stamp set called From the Crypt to decorate it and I used the saying from our teeny tiny wishes stamp set. First thing you want to do is grab an envelope that is four and a half by five and three quarters. And what you're going to do is you're going to tape along the edges here and tape this shut. Just like that. And then you're going to take it over to your scoring tool and you're going to score on one side at a half an inch. And go over that a couple of times and then you're going to flip it around and do the other side at a half an inch. And then you're going to do one of the ends at a half an inch. And then the end that you didn't score, we're going to cut. So you're going to flip that around and you're going to cut it at a quarter of an inch off. So what you want to do, score at a half an inch, score at a half an inch, score at a half an inch. Cut a quarter inch off the other end. And you're going to fold the scored lines here on the side. Then you're going to open this up and keep your hand inside. I found this kind of works better. And push this in like that until you get a side like this. And you'll see that you have this pokey end. You want that. And now you're going to do this to the other side. And what the pokey ends are going to do is create little tabs for you to fold over. And then the bottom, I'm going to kind of push that in. Kind of pinch that. Once you get the tabs kind of to a pliable position, you're going to take some sticky strip and place that on the inside of that tab. And you want to use the sticky strip to hold it down tighter because when I make these, I put candy in them. Um, these are great for any time of the year, for any season. They were great for Halloween. They were great for Christmas. They were great for Valentine's Day or any time that you want to make a little goodie for somebody. Hold that one in. There we go. Now we have our bag out of our envelope. And you'll notice where the flap is. I want that side facing up because that's the side we're going to decorate. I want that to be a finished product when we're done so there's no seam on the back. First thing you want to do after that is cut a piece of cardstock at three and a quarter by three and three quarters. This is your main piece. This is the background piece that you'll use to cover your envelope. I, I'm going to apply some snail. And you'll notice I've already punched, took the double rectangle punch, and I punched through the layers of cardstock at the top here. And then all you want to do is try to lay this on there as straight as you can to make it look nice, of course. And I flipped it over and ran my hand inside to get it on there good and tight. And then what I did was I took a piece of our designer paper called Cast a Spell and I cut that at three by four and a half. And then I took a sponge and our old olive classic ink and sponged around the edge of, of the designer paper to add a little more. 
And then down here at the bottom, I added a piece of our quarter inch pumpkin pie grill grain ribbon. Now you'll see the white showing through the little slots. Well, you want to take your double rectangle punch, slide that in there, and punch that out. And then you want to do the same for the back, too. So you fold it together, line that up again, punch through your envelope. Next, what I did was I took the skeleton from the stamp, st stamp set called From the Crypt. I stamped him in Versamark. I stamped the skull in Versamark. I poured black embossing powder over it and then heat set it. I took um, a sponge and an old olive classic ink and sponged around the whisper white. I then layered it on a piece of basic black cardstock and then a piece of pumpkin pie cardstock. I added dimensionals to the back. We're going to just lay this in here in the center towards the top of your bag. And then I took the Happy Halloween from Teeny Tiny Wishes and I stamped that in basic black ink on Whisper White cardstock. I punched that out using our modern label punch. And then I stamped, took the spider from the crypt set and stamped the legs around the edges in basic black. And then I sponged the edge of this tag with Old Olive Classic ink. I placed dimensionals on the back of that. And then we're just going to place that in the center at the bottom down here. Now for the top, what I did was I took some quarter inch elegant eggplant grill grain ribbon. And you're going to want to put this in through the slot. So you'll want to go down on the left slot and then up through on the right slot. And then pull it so you have this. And you're going to flip it over and tie what you need. And then just take your paper snips and trim that off. Then the last step I did to finish off my little bag was on the skull, there is some little bats. And what I did was I stamped this in basic black ink on Whisper White. I then took the half inch circle punch and punched out the little bats. I sponged the edge with Old Olive Classic ink and put that on one of our build a brads And I didn't put the little clear dome on there. I left that off. You're going to take the 1 16th hand punch And just punch in the center there, and then run your build a brad right through there. And there you go. You have now created a little bag out of an envelope. Thank you.